What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and welcome back to another uh, tutorial, another lesson in our tutorial. And uh, currently we have movement, we have crouching, and we have jumping and a bounce pad that reacts to not just our character, but physics objects as well. So we can drop one of these up there and it'll get launched as well. Uh, so what else can we add? I was thinking this would be a good time to add a dodge mechanic and uh, show you how to use montages so that we can create specific animations outside of animation blueprints. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks the button below. Speaking of things, huge shout out to Miss Mo Davis and Tammy the Psychic. Thank you so much for being channel members. If you want to support the channel and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. All right, so on to the tutorial itself. We're going to have to get some assets for this. Um, I would like to use some Mixamo assets. And uh, we're going to download a converter that downloads Mixamo uh, assets into Unreal Engine assets. So let's go ahead and search for Mixamo to Unreal. And we're going to use the Mixamo converter from uh, Terrabilis Studio. I'm going to go ahead and add a link to this in the description so you can get it there. Uh, but we're going to go to direct download and make a note of this uh, password. This is the password for the download itself. Now, once you go ahead and get that downloaded and extracted, we have incoming FPX and outgoing FPX. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this idle animation. So we're going to have these two files in incoming. And in outgoing, uh, I'm going to delete these as well because those are from an older project. So now it's completely empty and outgoing. And in incoming, we just have Mixamo to UE and the lib. So let's go ahead and open up this application and see how it works. We're going to left click to continue. And now we're going to go ahead and enter the conversion process on the right hand side. We're going to choose which character we want to use. So I'm going to use the Manny character. And you'll see that we have SKM Manny and Manny Simple. I'm going to use Manny for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this file as our skeleton in Mixamo. So let's go ahead and go back to Mixamo and log in. Now that we're logged in, we're going to go ahead and upload a character. And we can just drag that file, SKM Manny, into the browser. And now we have our rigged Manny skeleton. So let's go ahead and hit next and find an animation to use. So let's download two animations. We'll download one as an emote and then one is a roll. So let's type roll first, and we're gonna use sprinting to forward roll. We're gonna choose in place. That way it keeps the root motion without having to actually move the entire character. We're just gonna choose in place here, and that'll work with our rig. So let's go ahead and download that, and we'll leave this all as default and hit download. Now let's download one as a emote. Let's say, I guess the waving works, but we could really choose anything. So let's see if we can find something fun. Maybe a, a better wave. Here's one. Uh, taunt to battle cry. So he seems super angry there and that kind of works. So let's download that one as well and we're good to go. Now let's go back to our Mixamo converter. Go to the incoming FBX folder and we want to go to our downloads folder and move those two downloads into this folder. That way they show up there. Now let's minimize all this again and go back to the converter. Here we're going to scroll down and you'll see that we have both of those animations here. Let's go ahead and click on convert and now they've been converted. We can go ahead and click on this to open and here are the two animations that we'll be using that are uh, ready to use in Unreal Engine. So let's go ahead and open up our content drawer in Unreal Engine. So we're going to go ahead and grab our outgoing FBX folder and we're going to highlight these two and drag these into the content folder. Now under the FBX import options, we're going to go ahead and choose our skeleton here as SK mannequin. We want import animations on. We want to use the default sample rate and we're going to turn import attribute test curves off. We want to turn import bone tracks on. And finally, we want to choose delete existing morph targets and set that to false and do not import curves and set that to false. Once you have all that uh, set up just like this, you're gonna hit import all and you're good to go. Now we have these new animations. Let's go ahead and open one up and we can see that the character is rolling there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and right click on the animation sequence and we're going to choose create and choose create animation montage. We'll do the same thing for our taunt animation. We'll right click and choose create and then we'll choose create and in montage. Perfect. Now let's just try this out. Let's go ahead and open up our third person blueprint 
and open up our character. Now we need an input action for our taunt, but we can also test things by using the direct key. So if we type in keyboard key, for example, and then choose a specific key, such as the letter T, we can say if this is pressed, then we want to play montage and we're going to choose play and in montage here we can simply choose our taunt and hit compile and now if we hit the t key the character taunts simple enough however if you press a button like move you can see that the character is still taunting and that probably shouldn't happen right so we want to make it so that if we're moving, we're not actually playing this montage anymore. And that's actually really easy to do. All we need to do is head up to our movement system. So IA move and add a bit of code to this. So let's go ahead and stop a montage here. So let's drag off and type stop and in montage. And you can eventually turn this into an array or table of montages that'll stop so that you have everything listed. But we already know that we just have our taunting uh, montage here. So we want to stop that if we move. Let's hit compile and save and test this out. So if we're moving and we press T, nothing happens. And if we stop and press T, we rage. And if we press T and then move, we stop raging immediately. And it has a nice little blend time. So it's not just jumping back into place. All right, so I think I'm gonna pause there and we'll actually create our roll mechanic in the next video. Uh, that's it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, the source code for this can be found in the GitHub in the link below as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah.